Hey, good morning. Welcome to a brand new devotional series. Uh, I've been looking forward to going back over here to the New Testament, and we're over here in the Gospel of Luke. And we may talk a little bit about the, the Gospels. They are unique, a unique genre, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And today we're going to work starting in the Gospel of Luke. Let's read straight, uh, straight away, verses 1 to 4. Insomuch as many have taken in hand to set an order and narrative of those things which have been fulfilled among us, just as those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word delivered them to us, it seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write to you an orderly account, most excellent Theophilus, that you may know the certainty of those things in which you were instructed. So here's the introduction to the Gospel of Luke. Uh, Luke, the physician, he's writing to Theophilus. Theophilus is an interesting uh, name. It means friend of God, literally. Uh, question, is this a person actually named Theophilus, or is this just something that's kind of written in general to all of us symbolically? I think there probably was somebody really, truly named Theophilus. Uh, the, the weight of this uh, passage, however, lands at verse 4. That you may know. Why is he writing? Why is he writing this gospel? That you may know the certainty of of those things in which you were instructed. So the Gospels come to us, they're shaped by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit on the Gospel writer, the things that stand out to him that the Holy Spirit especially impresses on his mind, and, and each writer puts it in his own words, and yet it's the word of, it's, it's human words, and yet it's the word of God. Now we're gonna to get to hear from a brand new voice Luke, who is going to talk to us about what he knows about Jesus. He is focusing here on, he's kind of done some research, he's searched all this out, and he's going to put it in order for us so that we can understand it. So here's a question. Is it kind of important to understand the certainty of the gospel truth? Here we are in an, in an age, you know, this postmodern age where there's no truth, your truth, my truth, any truth, any which truth, no truth at all, any all truth. Here we are in an age like this, and uh, here's the gospel calling to us from 2,000 years ago, and he says, I've got something to share here that's very certain. I want you to know and understand that these things are certain. And so we can compare the four gospel accounts together, and uh, mostly we'll focus here on the gospel of Luke. Do we need a word, a certain word? Would it be useful if there is a God? Would it be useful for there to be a word of certainty about the life of Jesus? Well, in fact, the only place we can really have certainty about the life of Jesus is here in the Word of God. This Bible is what tells us for certain about Jesus. So we're going to follow through and work our way through here, and Luke is going to be our guide, and he's going to show us what he understands about Jesus. These are the most important books in all the Bible, probably Genesis and Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, these gospel books, because Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John directly inform us of the life of Jesus. Some people have this expectation that, you know, God sort of inspired the Bible writers and uh, just sort of told them what to say, and they just kind of wrote it out word by word as God showed it to him. But I believe that they put it in their own words and God simply led them to choose the choose suitable words. Jesus is God. He came to this earth. He, he lived life without sinning in a humanity like yours and mine. And he was victorious over sin. And he died on the cross as a sacrifice in our place, punished in, in our place, so that we could have the opportunity for eternal life. And so here we're going to be finding the, the very teachings, the very experience of Jesus as we work our way through. So welcome aboard. I do believe we can know the certainty of these things. We're going to treat the Bible that way as we go on. Wherever the gospel teaches, we're starting there and going straight on through. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you that you put it in the heart and mind of Luke to prepare a, a gospel to give us insight into what you're doing for your people back in, in his time and what you'll do for your people today in our time. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's see what we get. God bless you.